in thee. And you will see. You will see. Greater, greater, greater works. Greater works. Greater works in me. It'll no longer be about you. Yes, Father. This work that I do in thee. Yeah, it looked like that, kind of. Only it was taller. Only it was taller, and it was more silvery than this. It was shiny, and it was told. It was told on to the sword. Told on. Have it go firm in the ground. This sword is high. Standing. Do not look to the right or the left. Do not look at the ten thousands that may fall in your side. Amen. Amen. Do not look to the right or to yes. the left. Yes. Stay. Yes. I am doing a new thing. Amen. I'm taking you to a new place in me. Amen. Amen. You've never been there yes. before. Yes. You've never been to this place in me before. Yes. Yes. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Amen, Lord. It's a dying place. Yes, yes. A resurrection place. It's a dying place. In a resurrection place. You will know what it means to die daily. That the life you now live will be the life of me. Amen. Amen. It's a dying place. But it's a resurrection place. Indeed. It's a dying place. We'll be nevertheless not you, but me. Yes. 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 I heard your cries. Yes. You wanted to die daily. You wanted to know what it means. It'll no longer be me. Lord, my son, or I. Yes. Thank God, baby. Heal. 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 Yes. Oh, Sunday, money on Sunday, money on Sunday, money on Sunday, money on Sunday. Times are refreshing. Amen. Money on Sunday, money on Sunday, money on Sunday. Faithful, faithful is he. Yes. Faithful. Full of mercy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. In Christ. Yes. Thank you. Yes. There were some little foxes yes. that were spoiling my mind. Yes. Some little foxes that I tried to ignore. I said they were fine. I said they were fine. I said they were fine. I said I didn't have to do that, Lord. No, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> Just the little box there. <laughs> but when I began to say no to that box, <laughs> and began to obey, and things that seemed so little, but they were magnified in my Lord's eyes, you see. Because he's put a spotlight, a spotlight in me. He showed me the box that was spoiling my mind. Yes. And then when I said no to the box, look, 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 he's so divine. He's so divine, he's 
so faithful and true. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. He hears our hearts cry. Yes. And he doesn't care if we feel blue. Yes. He wanted me to feel blue so I would cry out to him. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I would confess this little thought yes. is having its way. Yes, yes. And I began to see it wasn't such a little fox. It was eating away. Yeah. It was eating away. It was eating away of my time. It was eating away yes. of me. Yes, yes, yes. And it was because it was his voice that I heard and I did not heed. Yes. So that little thing, it really doesn't matter. Look at all these other things that I do for you, Lord. That one shouldn't shatter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. That little one yes. was a big one indeed. That's true. Where it's the one that you put a spotlight on, you see. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now he has come and he says to us all, Here is the sword, the sword so glistening. Amen. Stand firm, stand firm, Amen. stand firm, Amen. stand firm. Amen, Lord Jesus. Amen, Lord Jesus. The anointing is costly. Yes, yes. No little foxes indeed. Yes, yes, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord. And your little fox may not be the fox that he's pointing out to me. Yes, yes. And my little fox may not be the one he's pointing out to you. Yes. Yes. But whatever little fox that he's told you about, yes. take heed, take heed, because yes. it's true. Oh, yes, 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 that's true. <laughs> wow. Help us, God. Have mercy. He is mercy. Yes. Mercy. Yes. Yes. Mercy. Yes. 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 Help. Yes. How much mercy you've given over and over again to me. Yes. 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 So I'm going to stand firm on this ground you've given me. Yes. And not turn to the right or the left and say that that little fox is okay indeed. Yes. Yes. We're not okay. Go. We're not to compare one to another. Yes. We're not even to measure ourselves with ourselves. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. We're to look unto him and to no other. Yes. Yes. He cried out to us to behold, behold, behold. Yes. Yes. And that's what I want to be. Yes. I want to be. Yes. I want to be all the things that you desire me to be in you, Lord. Yes. And you and me. Jesus. And I yes. want to hold, I want to hold, I want to hold the ground that you've given to me. Yes, Lord Jesus. For your name's sake and for your glory and for yes, your Lord. throne. Yes. All for eternity. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. For your glory. Indeed. Definitely not 
I just had one go! Oh! Come out! Go! Come out. go. Yeah. Some of them feel like bubbles down in there. Yeah. And they're coming out, they're coming out, they're coming out! Yeah! yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh, freedom. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes. No, freedom. Yes. Freedom. Yes. Freedom. Oh. Freedom. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Oh, Jesus. I. Oh! 
Oh. Oh. Be grateful. Do not be forgetful. Be grateful. Be grateful. For I brought you this far. I brought you this far. I'm giving you my word. I've not hide myself from you. I've given myself to you. I've told you. I've told you. I've set a table before you. And I have fed you. And I have washed you with the washing of my word. I've delivered you. And I have cleansed you. And I have closed you. Be grateful, not forgetful. Be grateful, not forgetful. Be grateful. You enter into my presence. With thanksgiving, you see. Be grateful. For I have fed you. I have fed you. I have brought up. I have brought you this far. I have closed you. I have washed you with the washing of my word. And I have set a table before you. And I have beautified you. I've given you beautiful ashes. Oh. I've cleansed you from your blood. I've washed you. Oh. And I have closed you with myself, you see. Oh. Be grateful, not forgetful. Do not forget. Do not forget easily. Do not forget easily what I have done for you. Be grateful. As you be grateful, I will I will take even farther than here, you see. For I have brought you this far. And I'm taking you to that land, you see. I am taking you. But you gotta be grateful. Because in your forgetfulness, you see, you'll turn back. You'll turn back. You'll turn back and you will give heed to the voice of the enemy. But I say to you this day, come in. Come in with thanksgiving. Yes. Enter into my presence with thanksgiving. Yes. Do not be forgetful, but be grateful. For I have brought you this far. I have brought you this far. Do not look left. Do not look right, you see. But behold me and thank me and thank me. Because I have washed you with the washing of my word. I have cleansed you. I have set a table before you. And I have fed you. I have delivered you, you see. I have snatched you out of the teeth of the enemy, you see. I have brought you from the darkness to my marvelous light, you see. I have saved you. I have given you salvation. That have cost me. That have cost my life. And I have given you. You better, you gotta be, you gotta be grateful. You gotta be grateful. For you see, you are in my marvelous life. I have brought you out of darkness, you yes, see. Lord. Be grateful, not forgetful. Oh, Do not Lord. forget easily. Oh. Do not forget easily when things come your way. Do not be forgetful. Yes, but thank me and I'll bring you out of the temptation. I'll bring you out of the deep pit of despair and hopelessness. I will bring you out of the bombarding thoughts. I will bring you out of despair. I'll bring you out of desperation. I'll bring you out of hopelessness. As you, as you take me and behold me, do not forget easily. Do not forget easily, for I have brought you this far, and I'm going to take you farther more. As you behold me, as you take me, as you worship me, as you set your attention to me, and as you set your affections to me, and behold me, have a single eye, have a single eye, have a single eye, have a single eye, have a single eye to behold me and me alone. And I'll give you clarity, I'll give you understanding, I'll give you wisdom. And when the temptation comes, I'll deliver you. I'll deliver you. Yes, when the Lord. evil one comes, I'll deliver you. Whoa. I'll deliver you. I'll deliver you as you cry out to me. But be ah. thankful. Be grateful. Not forgetful. Not forgetful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. For I have, I have brought you this far. And I'm going to lead, I'm leading you to that land. To that land. To that land. To that land oh, of fruit. Glory. And that land of fruitfulness. And you, f you will find satisfaction. But you have to enter in with thanksgiving. 
Oh, yes, Lord. Oh! Obey the Lord.
Yes. When you come, come hungry, come thirsty, many come full. Yes. Many come full, there's no room for me. Yes. Wow. Many come full, there's no room for me. Remember, Elisha told the widow, he told the widow to go and borrow some vessels. And she presented the vessels to me. She presented them and the more she presented them and the vessels. The more I feel the, the I feel the vessels. The more I presented the vessels, the more she I feel the vessels with my oil. With my oil. So come, come hungry, come thirsty. Do not come full. Come hungry and come thirsty. Do not come full. Many come full. Many come full of themselves. Many come full of themselves that there's no room for the oil. There's no room for the oil for me to pour out the oil. The more you present yourself empty, the more I will fill you. The more you present yourself empty, the more I will fill you with your, my love, with my power, with my fire. So come empty. Do not come full to me. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. You must tell them. You must tell them. You must tell them where they can find where they can find the river of life. Tell them. Tell them. I am the life. I am the life. You must tell them. Tell them. You must tell them. I am the life. I am the way. I am the truth. Tell him. Yes, Say a, uh, say a couple of things. Try to say a couple of things, and and we'll see if we change the order of the service. In uh, <clears throat> these prophetic words, that uh, in this book right here by Rick Joyner, I, I think I've got this right. In this book, he's he's ascending up the mountain. Now, on the, to go up the mountain, it's a very narrow path that's very dangerous and uh, the vultures were vomiting out condemnation the path was very slippery and what he did was I won't do Pastor Jan ran into the floor but, um, you ran into the floor oh, really? they shook hell oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. oh wow so tame on yes. <laughs> but to keep from slipping on his journey, he was carrying the sword and he planted the sword very deeply. Prophetically, she was saying what God had prophetically revealed the great joint. And so in the first, if I got this right, in the final quest, he's, on the, he's ascending, he's trying to climb up this mountain. Now all hell, that's where the hordes of hell were marching. And to keep from slipping and falling, he would drive the sword in and hold on to the sword. And he would keep, keep from slipping and falling. And then the second, there, then she went into the, the torch and the sword. And this is basically the third book of the trilogy, the torch and the sword. So the, the torch was the light. And the, we know that the sword is the word of God. 
Okay, so they keep on slipping, they keep on falling in the prophetic word to how many people. And if you, if you, man, I heard that part of says they so easily fall away. And my way of saying that is a demon decides to be a or fly. They come in and they're so excited about the things of God and someone comes into your life, you want to have sex, okay, let's go to hell, we we'll have sex or, or whatever, whatever the thing is. And so they, so easily, that's why sometimes the devil mocks people come to the, come to the altar because they've been to the altar before. But there's a remnant church that's not going to bow down. Amen. There is a remnant church that's going to go through. Then uh, there's a, when that spirit of prophecy came upon Pastor Jan, then uh, when she was talking about it, it would no longer be about I, it would be about me, it's going to be about, going to be about God. That uh, it's been some time ago, but a, a certain minister was referred to me, and when I checked the minister out, about the first 30 minutes, all he did was talk about himself. He, and I, all I kept hearing was personal pronouns. I. He's talking about himself. And I thought, I, you know, in, in all honesty, when you get close enough to Jesus, he's going to reveal that it's still a mixture. And see, corporately, so, but that's why, that's why most of the church, not all, most of the church has been seduced by dead, phony religion. And, um, uh, the, there's a great cost for the anointing. There's a there's a great cost for the, for the anointing, and to to go through, you've got to be very real. So much, we human beings have made so much of mystery about ourselves, title, position, yeah. and using people to meet the need with the, in us. Then that comes into a corporate thing where an organization or a denomination, then they use people to build an organization not so concerned about the individual person. And so every one of us, you get close enough to God, you can, you're going to you're gonna see him in such a way that you see some remaining things within you that need to be cleansed and be purged. Okay, so this was uh, what a night. Yes. And I, I, am, I am so glad because I went in the bathroom and I heard I felt like God wanted me to open up the pulpit tonight. And the only, what I, one thing I did wrong, I got the order wrong. <laughs> and we're going to yeah. have her go first and her go second and her go third and then here they may fire the away. So we're going to uh, just just explain that I studied, Pastor Jan tell you, I studied just about all day. And I came in there very prepared with a message that I was very excited about. She's the only one. These, these two didn't. Did you notice when I ever said you two are speakers? They didn't sit down and read the Bible, try to brew something up. They just kept on praising. They just kept on worshiping. Now, she was scheduled to speak seven minutes yes. before I get my message tonight. So we upgraded her to 20, yeah. and we want her to, to yeah. be able to free go to 20. <laughs> but then if there's any time, any time left over, so Brandon will give you a little bit of time at the end. We're, okay. we're uh, winding down here a little bit. Yeah. So this is Marissa. She's going to come in. This uh, Glory to God. It's been awesome. Uh, Glory. He's given us a knife tonight. Yes. Whoa. Oh. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. There's so much activity over here. Oh, God, we we lift you up tonight, Father. I thank you for what you have been doing for our church and I thank you for the night you have been giving us. Amen. We thank you for your fire, Father. I ask that you speak through me, Father, and have you glorified only and not me, Father. Only yes. you glory tonight, Father. Yes. I feel like God has been really speaking and speaking to me about. Um, we haven't been speaking life enough. We've been speaking too much death. And so many people have been falling away. And and so much discouragement is being, being spoken. And I feel like God really wants to start lifting us up. And Amen. I want you guys to turn to Habakkuk um, yeah. 1. Awesome. Wow. Praise yes. God. What a night. Oh. 
Habakkuk 1, verse 2. O oh Lord, how long shall I cry and will, you will not hear? Even cry out unto you violence and you will not save. Habakkuk was a prophet and um, he, he was speaking to God about how um, times were just so rough and he was, he was like, God, why aren't you delivering us? Why are you letting this evil keep happening? Why are you, why are you letting people keep staying in their sin? Why are you not calling judgment down on them? And that's what I really, I feel like, I've been feeling, that's what I've been feeling like. I feel like, God, why have you been letting people continue in their sin? Why have you been not, um, been calling down judgment on, well, not calling down judgment, we want mercy, but I've just, it's just been really speaking to me. And this guy just recently died at my job. Wow. And wow. my spirit was really grieved wow. about it. And I felt like, I was just like, what if I would have said something to him? Or what if I shared Jesus with him? I felt like we haven't been doing our jobs as Christians. And I felt like I wasn't being serious enough. I felt like I should have been being more serious and been sharing um, God's love with more people. And that just really spoke to me when he died. My spirit was really grieved for him. Because now now this guy is... I know he, was, he wasn't saved, is the thing. He wasn't saved. And it just, it just really hurt me to know that I, if I, what if I would have said something that would that have made it different for him? Or it's just really and even I recently have been feeling like, oh God, you know, I feel like I feel like I can't move on. I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like like I just needed something to get me to get me through that what I'm going through, and I felt like I was just stuck in where in the um, in the place I was at, and I feel like. So much of us have been going through the same things. Um, um, everyone's just been falling away. It's been really discouraging us, and and we all of us have just been in those thoughts like, "Oh God, are we, are we alone? Like I feel, I feel like I'm alone. I feel like there's no one here for me. I feel like no one's here to help me through get through this." But that's where we're wrong because there because God is here for all yep. of us. Yep. God yep. is yes. here for all of us. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And there's something that we have forgotten, but I want to read to you guys Joshua twenty three fourteen. Joshua twenty three verse fourteen. So be, behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and you know in all your hearts and all your soul that not. Not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have come to pass for you. Not one has failed. Wow. And I feel like that's something we have forgotten. We have forgotten God's promise to us. Yes. And our God is not a God who lies. Yes. When our God says something to us, He's going to do it. He's not going to fail to to do Amen. that. Amen. 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 That's and I feel like recently we have been making our pro- we've been making um, our problems bigger than. Uh, God really is. We've been, uh, we've been glorifying our problems. We've been glorifying the devil and not our God. But our problems are not bigger than God. God is That's bigger true. than our problems. Amen. 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 Yes. 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 That's true. <laughs> oh, boy. That's true. And I feel like the devil's been really trying to make us all really vulnerable. And that's why he's been doing all these things to us. He's been saying, oh, you guys, you guys, um, you guys, you guys, you guys can't go forward. We can't. You guys can't go forward. And but the thing is, we can go forward because God said we can. Amen. 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 That's true. Amen. We are going forward. Yeah. Amen. And what's been making us so weak is we we've been trying to fight our battles without God. We haven't been taking our battles to God. And the thing is, God is the one who fights our battles for us, not ourselves. Who? 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 Um, I just want to tell you guys about a breakthrough I've had recently. Um, uh, when I was feeling really down, I felt like I, I was really like I kept getting I kept getting the words like I needed to prophesy them, but I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't prophesy, but I kept getting the words come to come to me. And one day during praise and worship service, I just kept declaring God's word over me. I, was, I do not have a spirit of fear, but a, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I just kept declaring that over me. 
and that's when I got my breakthrough. It, it's, it really, um, uh, the, the scripture that says, mention not live by bread alone, but every um, word that proceeds out of the mouth of the living God, that really spoke to me, because when we speak that word over, over ourselves, that really helps us get our breakthroughs. Amen, so, yes, so. yes, that's true. The sword, the word. Alright, I'm gonna read Isaiah forty verse thirty one. Oh, that's big. Ooh. Big. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount.